Caddis Max Smith here, this time with a review of the Milwaukee two-piece heavy-duty demolition rated screwdriver set. We got the part number uh, 4822-2702, hammer ready, all metal core, although we can see from this photo, if we look real close, that it's uh, uh, alloy tool steel shaft, I'm sure, but it's two-piece. The cap is actually pressed onto the end of the cap. One thing that we can even see in the photo is the pinching, what actually helps or keeps the shaft from twisting is one it's a hex and it's in molded into the screwdriver uh, but two the little uh, tabs that they do to help prevent it from slipping are actually on the metal cap itself and you think it'd be down the shaft but I guess it doesn't really matter that much number two Phillips and a 516 flathead they do say uh, limited lifetime warranty so I'm kind of unsure what that really means when it comes to this kind of screwdriver if you're going to sell a screwdriver that is literally a demolition screwdriver set with metal striking caps and people are of course going to use hammers use these as chisels and all the things that they tell you not to use screwdrivers for don't use it as a prying tool don't use it as a chisel don't hit them with hammers you're supposed to do all that kind of stuff with these screwdrivers and uh, you know if the tip or something breaks off that's really what the lifetime warranty is for if it's just a simple materials and workmanship type of thing uh, it seems a little bit pointless so Hopefully they'll actually warranty these if you do break the tips off or end up somehow damaging the uh, Phillips. Once again, these are the Phillips is a number two Phillips with a quarter inch hex shank, so you can use little quarter inch wrenches. Anyway, you can use a little quarter inch box wrench, slide it over there to help give you additional torque. And they do have trilobular tri handles, and then of course they stamp on the back uh, plus and minus for Phillips and slot head. I do a lot of Harbor Freight reviews. I reviewed these uh, heavy-duty long-handle screwdrivers, which I kind of like. Some people have had uh, kind of hit-or-miss experience with them, but I've uh, generally liked these big screwdrivers. And these are the only kind of screwdrivers that Harbor Freight has that have that are made for striking. And it's kind of obvious, you know, compared to a Milwaukee. Uh, the Milwaukee is definitely nicer, nice, thicker, more rounded cap. You know, a better handle. This is a nylon handle with injection molded. Uh, you know, some kind of rubber over molding. The acetate handle's fine on the Pittsburgh. What you can see, there just isn't as much meat. So these things were 11 bucks. DeWalt has some, too. They were right next to them on the shelf. They had acetate handles. I like the way they look. I like the shape of the handle. But then the shanks, the actual screwdriver shanks on those DeWalt's looked awful lot like some cheaper Harbor Freight. So it was actually kind of disappointing that DeWalt had demo screwdrivers with nice handles, but it just seemed the grade of the shafts just was not as good at all. And the difference? The DeWalt's were $10, these were $11, and these look significantly nicer. So they have trilobular handles. They're, they're six-sided, but when you grab it, it's more three primary sides that you're working with. And uh, I've reviewed a lot of screwdrivers and finally learned really why trilobular handles are arguably the best. It's because when you're turning something, you turn and then it's a good natural. That 120 degrees is just a natural amount for your wrist to want to twist. And so when you're unscrewing stuff, it's pretty easy to grab and you get just the exact same grip every twist. For instance, like these Quins, which I reviewed a while ago, these are oval shaped, which are pretty comfortable. But then you kind of realize that as you're unscrewing something, you unscrew it and you're not getting the same grip each time. You're kind of either on the flat or you're right on the hump there. And it doesn't, it's not quite as ergonomic or as comfortable, especially if you're in a situation where you do have to hand drive uh, some screws. We'll take another close look at the shanks. We can see that even though I was complaining about the drive tabs only being on the back of the cap, since it is a hex and the whole screwdriver handle is molded over that hex, you're most likely not going to have any issues with these. I mean, I highly doubt it. You really have to beat the beans out of them. But it's kind of hard to find screwdrivers that they manufacture is really great for you to beat on. And that's kind of the deal with these screwdrivers is there's so many situations where you'll have like in your tool belt or, you know, uh, whatever kind of work you're doing in your toolbox anywhere where, you know, you have to find just the right chisel or you're working with something where you have to undo some screws and then pry or chisel things off, old door hinges, all sorts of stuff, where you just don't want to have to deal with switching from a screwdriver, then switching to a chisel, back to a screwdriver again. You take one of these heavy-duty screwdrivers and then you use your old claw hammer. Yep, this is the S-Wing. You haven't seen the last of it yet. And then just use them 
exactly <laughs> like you would a chisel. So they don't advertise at all the grade of steel. Even though the shank has a nice bead blast, it has a nice deep chrome. Uh, you know, they do put a little coating on the tip. The tip, I don't think is really, uh, this coating isn't for hardness, but I can really feel it. It adds texture. There's quite a bit of extra grip, so that will help hold it into the screw for at least the f first few uses until it wears off. So anyway, for a lifetime warranty, you know, for screwdrivers that you really beat on, uh, I think these are pretty nice. Even though they're five, you know, five dollars and fifty cents a piece, uh, I think they're worth it for a screwdriver that's advertised just to really deal with the tough jobs. The jobs where you have may have some rusty Phillips and you take this Phillips screwdriver, get them aligned in the Phillips, and then hammer them a few times on the back to really drive it in there to seat it into the uh, head of the screw and then unscrew it could definitely be very handy. And another thing I like about these is having a broad, flat face with a nice curvature. You can really press on the back of these with a lot of force, too. And that's something that's pretty important. Some screwdrivers just don't get that too right. So when you're trying to press real hard, you'll get a pinch in your hand. And there's something else handy about owning these. So here are the Harbor Freight Quins. These aren't bad because the shank actually goes like halfway through the handle. But we can kind of see where these are balanced if I can get it balanced. It's right about there, right on the tip. It's like right in between. But on these Milwaukee's, they're just, it's crazy. The balance point is more than an inch back. Pittsburgh was way up at the front. All the extra weight. And you do notice that. And it's kind of satisfying when you pick up a screwdriver. And it weighs, you know, whatever it is, a quarter of a pound or something on these. You're like, oh, you know, that feels like a heavy-duty screwdriver. There's a lot of steel on it. So I have high expectations. Anyway, I want to do my review of them. I actually thought that $11 was a reasonable price for a pair of nice screwdrivers. And uh, since I do so many darn Harbor Freight reviews and running out of stuff to review at Harbor Freight, right? As you notice, I don't buy a lot of the expensive power tools and that kind of stuff. I'm still in a YouTube position where I can't do that, but I'll eventually get into the you know more pricier items at Harbor Freight. But in the meantime, there's definitely a whole world of tools out there, and it's kind of nice to see screwdrivers like this on the shelf. I mean, it's something you tell friends about. Oh, you have screwdriver problems? Uh, you could either go maybe get some Harbor Freight Quins if you like those, but if you want some heavy-duty screwdrivers, you know, Milwaukee makes these uh, demolition-rated screwdrivers, so you can get them and pretty much use them for any service. I mean, at the shipyard, at the rail yard. Heavy construction, search and rescue. Actually, maybe that's going a little bit too far, but you kind of get the, the point that I'm making. Uh, definitely some heavy-duty screwdrivers, and I'll let you know if they uh, don't cut the mustard. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed to the Caddis Maximus channel, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.